So today we're going to talk about Anastasia. Anastasia is the four-star holy sorcerer from the Magic Tower. Unlike her four-star Magic Tower buddies Anton and Sergei, who are dressed in classic wizard dueling outfits, the artist for Anastasia decided to put her in a rather different anime Sailor Moon type outfit. Rather than discussing that in detail, we're going to be talking about her stats, her usability and an idea of where to put emblems on Anastasia. Please note two things. We're going to be discussing the version 46 recently buffed version of Anastasia and not all of the videos here have a fully leveled Anastasia, so please bear that in mind. Let's kick off by discussing Anastasia's mana speed. Anastasia's mana speed is set at magic. Magic comes at two different charges and there are different abilities at each level. At magic one, Anastasia summons a minion to all allies with 13% of Anastasia's HP and 20% of her attack. Magic Mana Charge 2 has a attack all hit. It's 235% damage to all enemies. Anastasia also summons a Fiend to all enemies. The Fiend will attack with 43% attack every turn and the Fiend will only disappear when it's absorbed 30% of the owner's max health through healing. There is also a passive skill on Anastasia's card when firing a fully charged special, so basically Magic 2, the second special. Anastasia has a 50% chance to give minus 20 attack for three turns to all enemies and if that wasn't enough she also is part of the magic family which means even if she's the only magic hero or if there were two or three unique magic heroes there is a 50 75 or 100 percent chance to cast five percent mana generation stack on a random ally when this hero casts their special skill, the maximum stack for this bonus is 10. This magic family mana bonus can work on either magic 1 or a magic 2 special being fired. In terms of base stats fully leveled up without emblems, Anastasia has an attack of 667. That's 8th out of 17 current holy 4 star heroes. So very much in the middle of the pack. The defense is worse, it's 626, that's 13th out of the current 17 4 star holy heroes in the roster. So in the bottom group, her HP is much better, it's 3rd at 1,319. Now this gives us a bit of an issue. Ideally to play Anastasia optimally you'd want to go down the sword and HP pathway, what I like to call the minion pathway. This is because her minions are summoned based on Anastasia's attack power and her HP. Going down the minion pathway, wherever there are swords or HP available, would give Anastasia an attack of 762. A defense would only go up to 644, but her HP would be 1538. This would produce the strongest possible minions before limit breakers for Anastasia. It would also buff that attack power for that 235% hit all skill, which is the 
second strongest at time of recording of all the four star holy heroes. If you want to go down a slightly more balanced path, and I can't blame you for wanting to increase Anastasia's defense, you can swap some of those HP pathways to defense pathways and you can get Anastasia to 762 on attack, 698 on defense and 1430 on HP. Going down this pathway means you are roughly increasing defense by 60 points but you are roughly losing a thousand HP. This does mean you're losing 130 HP on your minions. And I have to be honest, the minions for Anastasia is where I am getting the most value. This is a faster than very fast charge. And where I am using Anastasia in tournaments, particularly Bloody Battle, is to produce a minion meat shield for all of my heroes using Anastasia's very quick special. You can follow this up with a very strong hit and some fiends if you are in the lead. But to be honest, in a bloody battle, I'm using Anastasia more for her minion meat shield capabilities. Don't get me wrong, she's also very useful in other tournament types and against bosses who heal because you can stop them from healing by using those fiends. Overall, I think Anastasia has improved by improving the size of her minions, of course, and adding that big hit all skill. It does give you some versatility and some choices which can really help you out depending on how the battle is going. That's all about the time we have today to discuss Anastasia. I'll be back to review the family bonus in more detail. So if you've got this far and you haven't already, please do press that like button. It really does help the channel. Please comment below with your thoughts on Anastasia. And remember to subscribe for more videos. Until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.